What's up guys, Brandon Razor here with another tech video for you guys today. And today I bring you guys an in-depth review of the KTOR PowerSocket 2 for your mobile devices. So of course without further ado, let's slice this open, see what we get, demonstrate how it works, and give you guys my full in-depth review. Taking a quick look at the packaging here, KTOR does not waste their resources on fancy packaging, just comes in the standard cardboard box here with the KTOR logo on the front here. To pop this open, just slide it out. And of course the first thing and only thing we're introduced with is the Pocket Socket 2 generator itself. There's this yellow elastic band that surrounds it and I'll show you guys uh, how or what this will be used for uh, later on this video. And of course you also have an instruction manual on how to use the device and its capabilities. The KTOR Pocket Socket 2 is a hand crank generator that provides electrical power on the go. The device basically takes human energy and turns it into electrical energy, thereby powering your mobile devices. Taking a look at the design of the Pocket Socket 2, it's a very simplistic design with a generator unit enclosed in this very nice, strong, durable, black polycarbonate plastic. The handle part here does pop out like so, and of course we want to store it, just pop pop it back in and just gives a lot more compact and easy storage design. The entire body portion of the generator of course does have this very nice uh, circular indentations that line the entire body for added grip. And of course to charge your devices all you have to do is grab the charger and plug it into the outlet on the bottom part of the generator here. So we're also going to demonstrate this on the iPhone 5 here. I have it all plugged in into the outlet here. And for those of you wondering what that elastic band is actually used for, you can reuse it to secure a charger in place if it feels a bit loose or just went on there for extra security. In addition, KTOR does mention that this power generator here does require a minimum of two rotations per second in order to achieve enough power to charge your devices. But anyways, let's just show you guys and demonstrate how it works. So as you guys see here, the iPhone is charging, the charging stable is still on, and as, you, as long as you keep cranking, it will keep charging. So here's my rhythm that I found with the power generator here. It's not too fast, not too slow, and you can actually feel the sniffness when it's actually producing power to your iPhone. Overall guys, my first impressions on the KTOR PowerSocket 2 is very positive. It works as advertised and it's definitely a great accessory to have for those of you who like to travel, such as going camping, having the car in case of emergencies, or just have around the house in case the power goes out. It's pretty obvious in terms of practical uses that it's not really the most ideal thing to use to recharge your device every night. The iPhone does take a few hours, or a couple hours I think at most, to actually get a full charge for the battery when you plug it into the outlet. With this, you probably are going to expect the same thing and same time frame in terms of recharging the iPhone to its full capacity. Thus, as even KTOR advertises, it's a great emergency device, not something practical to use all the time. For example, if you're in a car and your car dies and your smartphone's dead, it's a great accessory to have as you can crank this for a few minutes and hopefully get enough charge for your phone when you're done to make a quick phone call for a tow truck or get some family and friends to help you out. With a max output of 10 watts for 120 volt devices, the PowerSocket 2 is most ideal for mobile devices such as the iPhone 5 here or tablet devices such as the iPad mini. Anything larger than that, however, you probably won't get too much out of it since this can only pr produce so much power. For example, this probably won't have enough power for the MacBook Pro, and yes, I did actually try. I couldn't resist trying this on a few other random appliances such as lamp here, so let's give it a shot. Alright, so as the switch is on for the lamp, let's start cranking this. So as you guys can see here, this actually has enough power to power this lamp here. However, I think the bulb in it has something that's less than 10 watts since it's those energy efficient bulbs. But it's pretty cool that it actually works. Also, for those of you wondering how big this device is, here's a little quick comparison between it and the iPhone 5 here with the OtterBox armor case on. It's really not that much bigger than the iPhone 5 in terms of the kind of surface area or top view look, but it's significantly thicker. However, for such a device that's designed to produce power, I definitely say it's very compact and very portable. In terms of any competitor products to this, I will say external batteries do kind of compete with the hand crank generator here from KTOR, mainly because they also act as kind of emergency backup power for mobile devices. However, the downside with external batteries is that they only have a limited amount of chargers I can give to the iPhone. So once they're done, they're done, and if it's still and if your power is still low, then you're kind of SOL there. So with a hand crank generator, you always have unlimited power when you need it. 
In conclusion, guys, I definitely recommend the KTOR Power Socket 2. It works as advertised and it's definitely a great emergency accessory to have around as it doesn't require recharging and it's always there when you need it in case you need some power for your mobile devices. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and that's my little quick in-depth review of the KTOR Power Socket 2. And of course, as always, I'd like to thank KTOR for shooting this out for review. And as always, I'll see you all next video. Peace.